Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we are going to learn how to play a piano in Zoom. So to connect a keyboard to your computer, either a PC or a MacBook or a desktop, a Chromebook, whatever you've got, you're going to need four main components and I'm going to go over each one separately. The first thing you'll need is Zoom, obviously. You'll need a keyboard, you'll need a music creation app or a program, and then you'll need the cable that you'll connect everything physically together. So let's go over each one starting with Zoom. Those of you who have been using Zoom probably already know about some of these features, but let me show you. The share button. You can do so much more than just share your screen. If you've delved into the advanced settings, you can see you can share additional screens, specific windows, and if you want to, just the audio coming from your computer. The share button is great. You have many options. You can share your whole screen. You can share just specific windows. And for this one, you can share your audio coming from your computer. And you can even go as far as sharing just your audio or your screen and your audio combined together. This is going to be really important to get our piano sounds to go through Zoom to our students. Next, you'll need a MIDI keyboard. This is any keyboard that will send an electronic signal from a unit to the computer. For example, here is my inexpensive M-Audio Key Studio. This thing has served me for many years. It's awesome. It connects with a USB on the back, and it does not require any power. So it's literally a single cable connected from here to my computer. You can do this with other things as well. I have an Ableton Push. This is like a piano keyboard, but it's got lots of other ways to perform and to play with your sounds. You've got your touch pads here, your controls on the right, on the top, on the bottom, but most importantly, it connects to your computer on the back with, again, with a USB, which is pretty handy. The connecting cable is really important because it connects your keyboard to your computer. There are many different kinds of connectors these days, and a lot of them are being upgraded over time. Whatever came with your keyboard will probably work with your computer. My keyboard came with a connector cable already with it, so I know it works. Easy to use. And finally, we have our music creation app or software. So if you've got a MacBook, GarageBand is on there already. It'll work. It's free. Use it. If you are looking for something more professional, you can use Ableton Live. This is what I use almost exclusively with my students because I can do not just piano sounds, but mix my own sounds. I can create sounds. I can put drum sets. I can record my voice. I can, I'm just very fluid with this particular software. If you're using a PC, I have no idea what to use. I'm going to do that research and put it in the description below. So. Find an app or a program that you can use with your computer and your keyboard to make sounds. And that's our first big step, is to connect everything together. Next, we'll need to open up Zoom and we'll need to open up GarageBand or Ableton Live or whatever that other music creation platform is. Now I have Zoom open. I have an empty open meeting uh, by myself right now and I'm going to double check to make sure that my sound is going to the correct places. We're going to click on this little arrow indicator here, select a speaker, make sure that your speakers on your computer are selected or your earphones or whatever other speakers that you want to use. Next, we're going to go over to GarageBand and we're going to make sure that it is set up. I have my electronic piano here and I'm going to go to my preferences and go to your audio MIDI tab. We're going to make sure that this is going through our output device to Zoom instead of your speakers. If you have it set up to your speakers, it'll play through your computer, but it will not go to Zoom. We want to make sure that our Zoom audio device is selected as the output. It's going to send the signal from GarageBand to Zoom. Once your Zoom is done, you can close that out and we go back to Zoom. In Zoom, it is going to receive the information from GarageBand, but we're not sharing it to our students yet. So we're going to go to our share screen, and normally this is the page that pops up, whatever your last selection was. At the bottom, select Share Sound, and this will share your desktop or your whiteboard and whatever you're sharing, as well as the sound coming from your computer. If you want to share just your sound and you still want your video to work, then select the advanced 
music or computer sound only option. When you select this, you'll still be able to share your video. Hey video. And I can also perform on my piano. And it's coming through Zoom. Now I'm all set to go. So to wrap up all the instructions, you're going to connect everything together. And then in Zoom, select the correct speakers. In GarageBand or Ableton Live or whatever program you're using, send your output to Zoom. And then three, in Zoom, share your audio in your meeting. And then you should be able to play your instrument. It could be a electric piano. You can switch it over to a MIDI keyboard or a pad like my Ableton Push. You can use anything that you've got connected as long as it's controlling through a music uh, creation software or app or whatever. So get creative. I've been able to do lots of different things. I've got my keyboard. I've got my extra instruments. I've been able to get my students to perform on their side. Uh, you can use your computer keyboard as an input instrument instead of a piano keyboard. So if you don't have a piano keyboard, but you have a software that can perform piano music, you can use your keyboard to type out those sounds and that could work too. Um, so get creative, get whatever you can make to work and make it work. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give a like below if this helped you out. Please leave any suggestions in the comments below. If you've got any questions, I would love to hear them and answer them as best I can. I'm Nick Blackwood. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.